it. Okay. It's really hard. I'm gonna take the top off. What is this, Marty girl? <laughs> Sorry about that. I'll stop. The top is off. What is this, girl's gone wild? I said I was gonna stop and I didn't stop. I, I pulled. Montana Dana and on this episode of Girl vs. Van, I take apart my piano, I turn my acoustic into an electric, remove the insides for storage space, and put it in my sprinter van so I have a music studio on wheels. I did it guys. I turned my van into a music studio. So I am moving and I have a little dilemma with this piano. It's extremely difficult and expensive to get it up here. I paid $300 to have it moved to my apartment in LA, $300 to have it moved from LA, to Idaho, $200 to get it into the U-Haul in Idaho, and then $500 more to get it up to my apartment in St. George. One, two, three, Trace. Oh, keep going. Keep going. Woo! So yeah, we're keeping this piano. I don't wanna sell it, I love it, I painted it, I put blood, sweat, and tears into it, and I think I'm gonna put it in my van. You heard me correctly. Here's my idea. This thing is so heavy because of the inside, so I'm going to take the insides out put them in storage so I can reassemble later, and then I'll be left with the shell of the piano, which I will use for storage. Because this was my bring with me on my trip pile. This is the put into the van pile. Um, okay. And that was just the clothing. So we got lots of storage in here. Let's take a look. We have some clothes over here, a tambourine. We have all my guitars over here. It's not quite organized just yet, but we're getting there. My main priority with this van is that I can bring my music studio along with me. And what's kind of cool about my piano is it already has a lock on it. So I'm gonna hollow out the inside. I'll have a place for all my expensive stuff and all my guitars and equipment to go. Lock it up when I'm not in the van. Bada bing, bada boom. One thing I'm also gonna try, which I don't know if it's gonna work or not, is I'm gonna remove all the keys and maybe save them for some artwork for the van. But I also have this keyboard. I'm gonna try and install this keyboard into that piano shell. Please send help. All right, 57 inches by 25 inches. What's kind of cool about this piano too is it's got storage in the bench. So I can keep my computer and all that stuff in here. Maybe I'll put a lock on that as well. And then this also folds down so I can store a bunch of stuff in here once I remove all the insides. Hypothetically. I really wanted to bring that bench, but it would not fit in between my bed and the piano, so we had to scratch that idea. I still have plenty of storage in here. I brought about 25 workout outfits because I'm filming my new Bloom Spring Fitness Challenge while I'm on the road. It's $10 a month. It's an eight-week program. Staying fit on the road. If you guys want to join me, there's a link down in the description. Join me on my Patreon. We're starting May 3rd, and if you join by May 1st, you get access to my Curb and Chisel program as well. Come and join me. It will be fun. I'm also writing music and recording on the road. So I had to do this little piano project. Definitely bringing this 100%. So cute. Now I'm gonna try to remove the inside of the piano. Lord bear me straight. Did I see my party trick? <laughs> she's talking about herself in third person. Where did I go wrong in life? I'm just gonna start unscrewing stuff, see what happens. I mean, if someone was able to put all this stuff in here, it's possible to take it out, right? I have no idea what I'm doing. Yay! The fun part is gonna be putting this all back together. Where is the screwdriver? Got it out of there. Why won't you come out? This guy's like stuck in here. Seriously? Oh, there we go. Got it. This is pretty shallow back here, so I might actually take this board out and move it up like four or five inches just to give me a little more storage. Like I'm gonna try and fit all my guitars in through the top and my taller stuff, so we'll see how much storage I have left over. Maybe I'll put a charging station in here because I want everything in the piano to lock up. Just thinking out loud. I got the pedals out. It's literally a spider graveyard in here. So disgusting. There's one over here and one over here. But they did. She gone. She gone. Now I'm gonna start unscrewing every screw I see on this little part. Definitely gonna have to take the back off because 
it goes like way up top. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know. I don't know if I have that size of Phillips head, but I'm gonna unscrew every other little thing that I can find, like this little guy. You are you dead? He was moving. It was just for me talking. Oh no, it's not gonna fit. Well, I can do this one. I know I got this one. Maybe the whole back needs to come off, and then I'll just put some like cheap particle board back there, cause that way I don't have to fuss with unscrewing all those big things. I don't know, we'll see. We'll get this little guy out of here and then check out the top. Let's see what we have in the top. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to remove this top piece and remove the whole back piece. It looks like it's like all attached. I don't know, I might have to saw this out. It looks like it's all glued. Yeah, let's take the top off. I don't know if I'll ever be able to put this piano back together. Probably not, but that's okay. Also saving $300, because it costs $300 to pay someone to move this down the stairs. And then it cost another $100 to take it to my storage space. Also, it's wood that I don't have to buy later on. I'm gonna go get an electric screwdriver. Ooh, much better. There's way too much button. Gonna put these in a safe space and probably reuse them. I don't know what these go to, but they're Phillips heads, so we're gonna unscrew them. I'm gonna have to take a saw to this baby. Do not try this at home, ladies and gentlemen. Do not. Okay, well, I mean, kind of working. This piece is probably gonna be really heavy. Maybe I'll get an assistant. I don't really wanna do this the whole way around the piano. My neighbors are gonna really love me after this. Good thing I'm moving out. Sorry, guys. Do you see that liftage right there? I feel like this is all just gonna come tumbling down. This whole piece is solid. I think it's just connected to the sides with some glue. That's gonna be my expert opinion. Meanwhile, I feel like I got it started, but if I could take kind of some kind of saw and saw it all the way down, but I wanna keep doing this. I don't know, I'm gonna think about this a little bit more. Doing more project piano tonight. I'm gonna try and remove the back of the piano from the front of the piano. I think I can do it. This piece comes off. I took this off when I painted it. Sorry. This coming out. And there's a bunch of Phillips head screws all the way down. So I'm thinking I can detach this part from the whole back and sides. Let's try it. Let's try it. The only thing is the back is really heavy, so I'm gonna push it all the way against the wall so it's already against the wall. It doesn't like slam against the wall. Fairy lights are not invited to this party. Oh, Jesus. I'll probably take off the wheels too so I can drill it into the ground of the sprinter, but I'll wait to do that until later. Good Christ. You're quite a heavy piano. Okay, good God, that's heavy. this little baby screwdriver forever. Look how small it is. It's the best screwdriver ever. It fits in all the little spaces. Except for this one. Ew, there's so many bugs in my piano. It's disgusting. This is a really old piano. I literally don't know what I'm doing. Just anywhere I see a Phillips head, I'm taking it up. We're gonna try that strategy. Does that come off? Oh, it does. Exciting. Hello, my baby. Hello, my daughter. Sorry. I'll stop that. I'll stop that right now. All right. How do these things come out? Gigantic Phillips head after all. I don't want to do it. Okay, well, I know I can take the keys out. I'm gonna take this thing off real quick. Please go back in the piano. Now we can take out all of the keys. I might also save the keys and make some sort of artwork with them, we'll see. Or maybe it'll be firewood. Lost in the middle of nowhere. Need to make fire? There you go. Yay! 
All the keys are out. What are those? So many spider guts. It's like an exoskeleton graveyard. many many neighbors oh my gosh I just have to clean this and then we'll see if my keyboard is gonna fit in there how exciting how oh, very exciting I have like big hopes of putting this piano back together someday but I'm just gonna toss toss it can't do it toss it it looks like there's like animal droppings but they're green but it's like from the felt like did something come in here and eat the felt and poop it out it's really weird Did. Disgusting. It's like rat poop. So sick. Like come over and look at this with me. Like see these little like green pellet things? What is that? There were a ton of them. And there's like something in there. Ew, there's a ton of them in there. What the hell is that? Something was literally living in this piano. That is so disgusting. It was like a little rat's nest. Ew, 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 ew. That's been in my apartment for four years, five years. See, this is what the other side looks like to give you a comparison, but there's this like little hole right here that they like run up in the piano. Good God, that is so gross. Anyways, I'm gonna keep cleaning it and then burn it to the ground. So gross. Disgusting. I don't want to do it anymore. It's like wedged under here and everything. I thought I had something with bleach in it, but I don't know if that would kill the germs or what. But it's killing the vibe. It's killing the vibe. Ooh, scrubbing bubbles is kind of working. Definitely gonna throw all this away. There's just a bunch of like gross shit on it. And then I'll probably coat the wood and sand it. Make sure it's like good to go. I don't know. in all the cracks. This is so freaking gross. I feel like I'm Dexter or something. I'm like wrapping all the shit in bags. Taking it down to the dumpster. I don't know, do I save any of this? Not with mouse poop on it. I really wanted to make some artwork with these. One more trip down to the dumpster. Now I'm gonna go Netflix and chill. Actually, I'm gonna do one more thing. I wanna see if my keyboard will actually fit into this thing. Oh my god, it fits. I'll take out these little things blocking the way. This might actually fit perfectly. We are back in piano land. Do I dare tackle this again today? All right, I'm gonna try and take off these little pieces right here and here so I can see if my keyboard's actually gonna fit. Nailed it. All right, I got everything cleaned out. Now I'm gonna see if my keyboard fits. I think it's going to. Oh my gosh. Like it, in love. I like it. I was kind of hoping it would sink down farther so none of the black part showed. Maybe I'll put in a piece of wood to kind of hide that and make it look like it's more uniform. Or I take out the full bottom piece and replace it. I don't know. By the time I replace everything in this piano, there's only gonna be like a very little amount of this piano left. I'm gonna just start it from scratch. I wanna see if the rest of it will fit on. That part fits. I just don't know if the other part's gonna fit. So maybe I'll have to make something that goes down right here. Oh, we're so close. And this has a sustain pedal that will go down through there. It'll come out here. And then I'll have to drill some holes in the side because I have some MIDI cables and the power cable. So I'm gonna drill those through here and those will go directly into my computer through USB. Let's plug it in, see if it works. that I really like. The girl's name who did it is Deanna. Their van is so cute. They have these really cute cupboards and then they used some sort of like, it almost looks like a wicker basket. I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna find out. Maybe that would be cute to put here because I think the sound would actually be able to get through it and it might look really, 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 really cute. Anyways, this is my piano project. I should probably go pack now. <laughs> Kill me. Actually, wait, let me see something. Procrastination at its finest. Is it rested on there like that? No, that looks bad. It would be perfect. 
perfect if something just kind of attached to this. Wait, let me see. Okay. All right. I really gotta go pack now. Bye. All right, Project Piano. So I think the path to least resistance is to remove the sides and the back and just replace the wood with something cheap and lightweight and call it a day. Whoa. We're connected. Here's the lock from the other side. Oh, it's getting close. This is a very loud apartment project. That's it for tonight. I'm gonna do this um, when it's not 9 p.m. at night. But in other news, I'll no longer have neighbors. Exciting. I just had a lovely gentleman come in and try to remove the sides with a sawzall. However, the blade was no bueno. And I am L on a budget So we're gonna take this saw to this piano. <laughs> You start a fire in the woods. Oh. Hmm. Might actually be working. So, a goal of mine with the van build was to use as many things that I already owned as possible, and that includes tools. So, we're just working with what we've got. holding on for dear life. I'm gonna 
idiot, that's all. Yep, it's bolted in down below. <laughs> cool. All right, we're gonna push this back to where it goes. So the wall is gonna catch this back part as to not destroy the wall in the process. Put this little guy there. I hope you guys are gonna celebrate hard with me when this all comes together. Okay, screwdriver. Oh, I stepped right over it, of course. I found it. Oh, okay, all right. I can't feel my arms. My arms are like silly putty. All right, the moment of truth. A lot on that, I hope so. Shit, this thing's like really heavy. Stay, Bonita. Stay. is to try and gently set that down. It is literally on wheels. I need to move this slowly. Set that down slowly. Also, these are, there's a lot of tension on these strings. They can snap. Oh my God. Shouldn't my husband be taking care of this? Okay. Easy does it. has a hard time asking for help. It scratched the wall, but there goes my security deposit. So it was kind of a miracle. The day I was supposed to move out, I put the back of the piano on Facebook Marketplace for free. This guy came over and got it out of my apartment. They're gonna use it as an art piece in their music studio, but there's no way I would have been able to get that thing out of my apartment. He tried to take it apart. It wouldn't come apart. That thing is a beast. And now it's out of my life. Thank you, Jesus. What am I stuck on, folks? It would have been less money and hassle and trouble just to literally build this from scratch. But you know, this is how the adventure starts, right here, right now. Okay. I'm Montana Dana and I stand by my work. We got rid of 200 pounds, 150 at least. Oh my gosh, this is so lightweight. When they moved this piano up the stairs, they said it was like 350 pounds probably. I'm tired. Well, that's enough of this craziness for today. Over the next week or so, I got everything in my apartment packed up, put into storage, I deep cleaned everything, and then the piano is ready to go in the van. Oh my god, there's a piano in my van. Holy shit, I'm excited. That looks so cute. I can't believe it fit. All right, I'm doing the finishing touches for Project Piano. Got the keyboard in, and usually it just looks open right here, but I wanna hide all these cables. So since the speakers are right here on the keyboard, I still wanna be able to hear them pretty well, so I got this kind of sheer fabric. I'm trying to use it materials, so I'm just using some of this tape. I'm just taping the underneath to the piano. That's gonna go all the way across, and then I'm gonna Velcro this little piece to the piano, so. It'll be super easy to just pull this off. I can also reach back and adjust the volume and stuff like that really easy. And this will just rest on here. I was gonna tape it, but I think it's gonna be a pain to remove this. I think I'm gonna remove this a lot so I can access the stuff in the back. And this matches my pillows. So I think it's just gonna clean it up a little bit. Now I'm gonna go visit my brother in Florida and I think we're gonna do a few little projects in the van and really make it look more professional. Right now I'm just kinda, that is one happy bird. Right now I'm just kinda jimmy rigging stuff. Just to make it, just to make, just to make it look cohesive. But again, I did kind of a soft build in my van. I'm gonna try this lifestyle out for a little while. If I really love it, then I'll invest in a bigger van. I'll make more custom cabinets and stuff like that. But 
right now we're just working with what we've got. Got the power cable plugged in. We're gonna see if it works in a few minutes. Let's get this little guy taped on. Velcro on the bottom, Velcro it to the piano. Should be good to go. So on the side of my piano, there's not quite enough room for my cables to stick out of the keyboard. So I'm gonna have to make some holes in the piano. We'll see how it goes. So originally I thought I could drill vertically into the piano without having to drill all the way through. And then I could just set my keyboard in the little slot and then would leave enough room for the cables. That didn't quite work so well. I didn't drill it quite far in enough. Oops. I ended up having to drill all the way through. So those mini cables are gonna go through the side, but this thing's gonna hang here and kind of cover it up once the cables are through. And then I'll hang my headphones here. Oh my gosh, we are ready to record. All right, the final thing in the van is I put in this mic stand. So I drew a hole in here and I'm gonna drill a hole in the bottom so it just like sits in there and it's sturdy. I'm gonna have a mic stand at the piano at all times. So excited. All right, let's see if this fits in here. Oh my gentle Jesus, it fits. Hallelujah. I can't believe it, but I think Project Piano is complete. Hallelujah. We think Cope you like it. So that was how I turned my acoustic into an electric piano and put it in my van. I'm gonna do a full van tour soon. You guys have any questions, let me know down in the comments because I'm doing a Q&A here shortly. And the next video is the beginning of the van build. I had seven days, so there will be seven videos of me actually physically building the van. So look out for that. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, share it with your friends. See you soon.